Alright, welcome back. Before I begin taking a quick look at Zorin OS 6, let's take a look and see what the Zorin team had to say on their blog. Now, I will not read the entire blog, I just uh, copied a few paragraphs here from the Zorin OS website. And it says here, after a long year of development, Zorin team is proud to release the Zorin OS core release candidate. Zorin OS 6 has been the most significant leap forward since Zorin OS's initial release three years ago. At the core of Zorin OS 6 lies our new unique desktop environment named Zorin Desktop instead of Unity, Gnome Shell, and Cinnamon. Zorin's desktop embraces all the latest and greatest of open source software and technologies such as GTK3 and other software from the Gnome 3 software stack, all without affecting the familiarity and usability of the desktop which still retains its Windows 7 like default look and also has the innovative Zorin look changer which allows you to choose between Windows 7 XP and GNOME 2 graphical interfaces. Now this part here probably probably most importantly Zorin desktop uses AWN as the default panel. So this is the default desktop what you see here. There are a couple extra icons on the screen. One is the uh, USB flash drive that I uh, plugged in so I can save the screencast too that flash drive and by the way I'm booting this off a USB stick okay and this is the document here that I just read off from it's meant to be for Windows users plain and simple if you are new coming from a PC environment uh, playing and using Windows all your life this is really your best shot at trying a Linux based operating system and at the very least feeling comfortable before and and if you decide to just you know try to decide and then and maybe abandon this altogether hopefully you won't but let's take a quick look to the bottom is the AWN panel or the Avant window navigator now this is meant to be entirely user-friendly you have preferences such as adjusting the size of the icons the task manager applets you have a choice of available applets here and categories also to add to the dock you have themes to change the look of it and some advanced functions here to the right you have the usual power now this does say time meaning the word time and not the actual time now this may be a glitch or a bug I have a feeling if I fully installed this and ran the updates it, it would actually show the time and not just say time it's kind of funny but Anyway, let's move on. All right, this is the uh, chat menu here. Of course, the volume control, it's nice that it still retains the uh, sound player or the, the, the media player integration into the sound menu. Of course, my internet, the uh, Kazam screencaster. Of course, I showed you the uh, dock here, right-clicking. Let's click about. This is Event Window Navigator 0 0.41. Moving on to the left, we have course rhythm box as the default music player I kind of like Banshee also just to let you know the file manager and let's see what version this is Nautilus 3.4.1 looks like this is uh, as of 2012 so it is up to date notice the blue folders here to make you feel comfortable coming from a Windows PC we have Google as the default web browser and it does play videos the codex in this should be ready to go so if I click the last um, let's see the last Sunday night news and nonsense report it plays just fine and I'm hearing Spatry's loud voice in my ear <laughs> hi Spatry all right moving along we have the Gno, you know, the Gno menu, which again, this looks like Windows 7. Now you've seen this before. I won't go into every single piece of software here. Uh, let's see. Click back at the bottom. We'll bring you back games, graphics, internet. Let's take a look at the Zorn Web Browser Manager, which I believe is exclusive to Zorn you have your choice of desktop web browsers Firefox Chrome Opera and Midori and by the way Google Chrome I believe has overtaken IE as of last week they are number one congratulations to the group Google Chrome team all right sound and video 
VLC is awesome for both Windows and, of course, Linux. System tools. Let's take a look. What stands out here, of course, is the Zorin Look Changer. And you can change how this looks between Windows 7, XP, and GNOME 2. I'll leave it for Windows 7 for now because that is the default environment if you were to install this as a full install alternative or as a dual boot alongside Windows 7. You can right click this and if you choose to customize this you have uh, different themes here. Let's try short. What is short? Alright, let's click OK. Restart. And it gives a little unhappy crash face here, but click that. Wow, that really changed everything, didn't it? That is really short. Oh, Zorin 6 ex experience an in in internal error. error. Keep in mind this, uh, this is still a release candidate, not the finalized. I have not installed any updates. Let's see if I can bring it back. And uh, let's see, Zorn OS. There we go. That looks better. Yes, restart. Okay, we are back to normal. I just clicked the power button, but I do not want to shut down. Thank you. Well, look, I don't want to drag this on. You've seen my videos of Zorn before. It is my number one choice, one of the most polished, user friendly, Linux based distributions out there you know year before well it, it was really two years ago I think I, I made a rather not a long video but more expanded video that I thought Zorin 6 really was a Linux for the future or not Zorin 6 I think it was Zorin 4 I can't remember anyway back then I called Zorin a Linux for the future and really they are continuing the Zorin team is continuing a Linux based operating system such as Zorn and it really is a Linux for the future it's it's polished it's stable a few glitches it looks great if you are a Windows user check this out first speaking of look let's see what kind of wallpaper we have I just right click on the desktop and I don't see anything out of the unusual I'll just keep it the way it is by the way this is the uh, I guess similar to the control panel in Windows I just clicked all settings. All right, well, this is my take on Zorn OS 6. This is based off Ubuntu 12.04. It is a long term service support released. It will be supported for five years. So if you love this, you can install it and forget about it if you, if you so choose to for the next five years. So congratulations, Zorn team. Your standard of excellence really continues. Great job. It's been over a year, but I think it's been well worth it. If you don't like Ubuntu Unity, you don't like Cinnamon, GNOME 3, and all the other shell extensions, check this out. This is my number one choice for Windows users. Thank you, and as always, I will catch you, hopefully, in your Zorin Linux future. Ciao.